Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I am Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Costume Quest for the Sony PlayStation 3. Alright, good stuff. Now, I already completed a walkthrough of Costume Quest, but a little bit after its release, they actually released something called Grubbins on Ice, which is downloadable content. And that's what we're going to be playing this time. Start new game. We got Costume Quest. But we have Grubbins on Ice. Yeah, this downloadable content I picked up a while back when I found out that they, uh, they had it available. So good stuff. Let's check this out. Drum roll, please. I like how it saves before you start. We have to save. Nothing's happened yet. It's freezing, Lucy! Are you sure you wouldn't rather be back at my house watching Mysterious Eyeball Theater and eating kettle corn? I just refuse to believe that all evidence of the monster world completely vanished into thin air. From a scientific point of view, that's extremely improbable. So if we find something that proves this theory of yours, can we go home? Definitely. Because if I can find something really tangible, I'll be able to prove the existence of Repugia to the scientific community. He'll be a legend, the first fourth grader to win the Nobel Prize. Hey, let's not get carried away, Ev. Well, you certainly should win some sort of prize. I mean, you're just, um, you're, you're... What? Well, I mean, I just think you're really, really... Oh, hey, that's something tangible. Great. Alright, now let's see if you still work. I'll just run a quick diagnostic on this vocal apparatus. Can anyone hear me? Hmm, I wasn't expecting that. Uh-oh. Lucy? Lucy! Seriously, Everett, why do we need our costumes for this? We have to be prepared for the worst. Lucy's life is at stake here. But Dorian made sure that Dorsula wouldn't be able to open the portal again. Guys, look! A quarter! Um, Reynold, you might want to turn around. Ah! This is bad. We have to go in there and get Lucy back. Ren, you go first. What? Nuh uh. Reynold, your face will scare away any monsters waiting to ambush us on the other side. You go first. The leader should go first. Not it. Not it. Not it. Ah! Why are we wasting time deciding who goes first into that horrifying vortex of doom? Let's do this the fair way. Whoever I point to will be our leader, okay? Hmm. So once again, we get to select our leader. Smiling surprise. Well, we'll go with the boy again. Reynold? You'll be playing the part of Captain Courageous on tonight's epic adventure. Great! As Captain, I order Ren to go first. Nice try. Don't forget to walk through the portal face first. And so then the Grubbin says, Candy? But you hardly know me! <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, boss. <laughs> yeah, Candy, I get it. Oh, please. Spare the fake laughter. If you don't think my joke is funny, you can just say so. Okay, it's not funny. It doesn't even make sense. Is that right? Well, maybe you just need to work on your sense of humor. Two weeks of bathroom duty should fix that. Aw, oh, man! Oh, look! Kids! Finally, this portal is paying for itself. All right, 
I'll just candy coat these twerps and then it's off to Big Bones. Did he just say Big Bones? Run! Oh? Lucy! Urgh. These candy corn spells take forever to charge. Take care of those other kids and maybe I'll reconsider the whole bathroom duty thing. I'm taking this one straight to the candy cage. All right, and we're jumping into it. It's battle time. And since this is downloadable content, you know, all of our costumes, all of our abilities, just about everything we acquired in the old game, you know, it's gonna be carried through this. We ended at level 10, here we are at level 10. You know, the attacks are all the same. So it shouldn't take you long to, uh, you know, get back into the swing of things. Ah, it's good to attack again. Of course, my costumes are a little shuffled right now. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit dazed, you know? I don't know who's wearing what, really. Well, I kind of do, if you just look at them. After this battle, I'll probably equip some of the later costumes I acquired in the uh, later portions of the game. Looks like it's cold around, too. Look at all the snow. Man, it might almost be Christmas time here in the Costume Quest world. There we go! So I'm dispensing these guys pretty well. So yeah, we're gonna acquire new costumes. That's pretty cool. We're gonna acquire new abilities. I'm sure there'll be more power-ups. I don't know which power-ups I have equipped right now. It could be the same carried over from my other game. That's highly possible, and I think, I think they actually are. They look pretty familiar. Let's see. Shield him. He needs it. It's not a bad combo to start. You know, I'm taking kind of a little bit of a beating. Ah, oh, man. Good attacks there. Oh! They got so much HP. By the way, they're at level 14. This could be one of those crazy battles. I don't know, man. Puka! I don't think I have my poison ability equipped because I definitely haven't poisoned any of my enemies yet. Nasty timing. Ah. Oh, I think I've matched all the timings pretty appropriately so far. Damn! You know what the problem is? It's these big fucking hammers they're hitting me with. Those things are crazy tough. Ooh! Finished them. Here you go. 669. Oh, Ren is out of commission. Missile Barrage. So I did enjoy playing Costume Quest. So I thought I'd uh, check out Grubbins on Ice. Grubbins on Ice was released about a couple months after Costume Quest was, when it was originally released. Oh, so I'm defeated! What's gonna happen, man? Those cheaters didn't even let us roll for initiative! Ah! 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 Achoo! Wow, do you really sneeze that loud? Yeah, jeez! It sounds like you're just faking to get attention. Oh! Ooh. The Trobogs broke our fall. <laughs> so here I am in this other dimension. More recruits from the sky. Did you come to join the revolution? To help us overthrow Araxia? Revolution? Yeah, we've got one brewing. We're not really into Araxia's oppressive ruling style. Tell me about it. He just oppressed us off that cliff. If you could help us get our friend back, we're in. That sounds fair, but first, we'll need numbers if we're gonna take down Araxia's monster gate. How do we do that? 
I need you to go door to door to find some more recruits, and maybe get some candy donations. Whoa, that sounds just like trick or treating. We're pros at that. I knew you would be solid recruits. Just follow the path to town and start knocking. Also, headquarters is just ahead if you want to take on more for the cause. Viva Repugia! We have to get Lucy back. Don't worry, Everett. We'll get her back. Well, if we help these monsters, maybe they'll help us. It looks kind of like the Neglected Realms model for my Dragon's Dungeon set. That was the only set that let you play the Dragon Herder class. I'll bet we're in another dimension. I just hope that portal goes both ways. Who cares as long as they give us candy? How else would we get enough monsters together to overthrow Araxia? These monsters are smelly, but they're also surprisingly friendly. Ooh, look at this ooze. Oof. So yeah, in a costume quest fashion, I will be picking up candy from door to door. You know, it's not Halloween anymore, but hey, they do things differently here in Repugia. They got a revolution going on. This is the best spot to recruit. Disenfranchised monsters drop off this cliff all day. <laughs> yeah, like, the, what about these guys? These guys are knocked out. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we have a new world to explore, but first... But first... Let's see here. Okay, going back to the menu. Viva Repugia. We have visited zero out of the 20 houses that are around here. Monsters stomping ground. We gotta get back to the top of the mountain, find Lucy. This guy Araxia sounds like bad news. We should help the citizens in their uprising against him. Not much so far, but I'm sure we're gonna have all those, uh, you know, little mini quests. You know, it looks like we're gonna have some battle stamps to get. Yeah, not too many completed quests that we're gonna have to do, as you can see there. That's probably because this is downloadable content. It's definitely not going to be as long as the original game. <laughs> what are these? What are these? Like, look at that. That's weird. So what do you think? You think this guy's friend or foe? I'd have to say friend. What about me made you want to do that? <laughs> it's hard to get psyched on Yeti Fest when it's so hot here. Huh? By the way, I gotta say, this green river looks really cool. I don't know. It just looks really nice. Green color's pretty badass. Just flows pretty nice. You know, there was a, another PlayStation 3 game I played. It was called Enchanted Arms. And it made a bunch of comments about the water and, and, and how it flowed, you know, through streams and rivers and all. And it just looked really horribly done. And it looks way better in this game. It's just kind of funny to me. So anyway, what's this guy doing? Psst! Hey, kid! Hey, you need some battle stamps? Come talk to Shady. I got battle stamps. You can't get anywhere else. Hey, practice using your battle stamps on someone else. We already have a bunch of awesome battle stamps. Please stop bothering us. Shh! Keep it down, kid. And you ain't got any battle stamps like these. We've been doing just fine so far without your smelly battle stamps. Oh, well, excuse me. You must have voluntarily jumped off that cliff earlier. My mistake. You couldn't have lost a fight with those sweet battle stamps. We were just seeing something. Yeah, we meant to do that. But just for the sake of argument, what kind of battle stamps do you have? Not so fast. You got candy? We've got tons of candy. Now we're talking. Check these babies out. <laughs> Everett, you lie. We have no candy. 31 pieces. I just wanted to see what he has here. He doesn't really have anything. Not much. It doesn't really matter. I can't buy shit right now. Hmm. Oop. Smackaroo. So anyway, I think we might want to do a little reshuffling. Of course, Everett's got the robot right now. Let's see, who should I give each costume to? We got the ninja, 
you know, I was using the uh, giant pumpkin at the end of the costume quest gameplay. I was using, I was using the spaceman, the ninja. I was using that one. Up, oh, that's Dracula right there. Let's go to Dracula. So, okay, we got robot guy, we got Drac. Eh. Should we switch Lucy from something else here? Eh. What if we give her the cat? That seems appropriate, right? There you go. You're the kitty. Hmm. I collect dirt clods from my ears. Okay, is... Really? Ha <laughs> ha! You humans are so friendly! Hmm, okay. Well, I definitely have to check out the houses, but, you know, I've just arrived in this area. It's new to me. I like checking every uh, little corner out, you know? It's always fun for me to do. I like to know my location. You know, learn your surroundings, baby. That's what it's about. <laughs> By the way, secret cave. Might as well go in the secret cave now. What do you think? Yep. Yeah, this looks like a secret cave. It looks like the, uh, the headquarters for the members of the revolution. <laughs> Here's their desk. Are you the leader here? What's a leader? Oh, hey, nice disguises. You guys are good at disguises. We've had lots of practice. We had a disguise maker, but he was taken away by the guards. We found this on his desk. Oh, I got pirate costume pattern. Sweet, a costume pattern. It is apparently his masterwork, but I can't understand how to read it. You were holding it upside down. See, you guys are out of my league. Maybe you'll have better luck putting it together. The materials are guarded by some trusted monsters in town. Find them and tell them that Cranston sent you. Okay, so we got another little mini quest added here. Looks like we're probably gonna eventually get a pirate costume. That'll be cool. Pirate costume, definitely uh, pretty popular when it comes to Halloween. Arr, be the pirate! And of course, we can still smash just about everything to get candy out of these boxes here. Look at this fist. Revolution! What do we got here? Candy. Good stuff. We'll be able to buy some new battle stamps in no time. I am filled with a sense of purpose. Ow! My beak! I am in charge of diagrams. Stop! You'll break my chalk! Huh. I guess we got a little information at the headquarters in the secret cave. Oops. Definitely have to get all this damn candy. Not much down here. I can see something over there. I can't get to it right now. Doo 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 doo. Yeah, once again, the water flow looks really badass. Whoa! Hello! Hello, waterfall! What is going on over here? Hmm. More activity. Once again, the controls are pretty much the same. I've had a couple complaints about the controls, but... You know, what can you do? What's this here? Oh! Hmm. Oh! Alrighty. So what, this leads to the same area? Let's check out this cave. Cave time. I'm just glad I have the robot costume back. It's pretty nice they gave us all our original costumes. And you know, like I said, everything carries over from the original game. And why wouldn't it? I got a track suit. Costume material track suit. Huh. That doesn't sound like a pirate costume, does it? This could be another costume entirely. Okay, so wait. I got multiple paths here, do I? You guys seeing this? Multiple paths? Alright, well, let's go this way first. Let's not get lost in here! Let's not get crazy! Ah! 
Hmm. Not much point to this now, but I'm pretty sure that we'll be in another area. That will let us get over to there up top. Looks like there's a chest. Probably something valuable in there. We'll be able to get it, drop back down here, and go through the cave. Alright, so the other way was... Oh, shit. Was it this way? Was this the other way I wanted to go? Definitely. Boneses! Hey there, Boneses! No random battles in these caves. Yeah, usually in RPGs, you got random battles in caves, and they are pain in the ass. Ah, I see. Oh, this is dropping us off back up top. You know, is it just me or is that a little weird? We went down there, past the waterfall, into the caves, and it brought us out up here. Oh? How does that exactly work? Anybody? Eh? Okay, so already I've kind of checked out a good... Oh, I went in here. I checked out a good chunk of the area. Let's go through here. Ah, uh, there's a kid here. You found me. Six of us were able to escape from Aroxia's candy cage. It was terrible. They were going to feed us to Big Bones. Please save the others. Alright, so just like in the original costume quest, we would find hide-and-seek kids... It looks like we're going to be finding some more kids. Alright, we'll hit the thing. I'm just hoping we're not going to be bobbing for more apples. Costume pattern, eyeball. Hmm, eyeball. wonder what that could be for. Maybe another costume once again? Speaking of eyeballs, do you guys notice that eyeball plant right there? It's right next to the bush, and it's kind of moving a little bit. What the hell? Look at that thing. They're blinking. Okay, that is weird. I can't get in there. Just wanted to point that out. Okay, so I think I'm done with this area. Should we cross the bridge? Woof. Okay. An old guy here, we'll leave him be for now because I want to do some trick or tr uh, recruiting. Viva Repugia! I find your revolution revolting! Oh, so we got our first battle, kinda. Yeah, I didn't mention that, you know, that first battle we had, we were never meant to win. Don't you just love it when RPGs throw that at you, you know? Especially when you're playing for the first time, so you don't know. You're like, oh, damn it, I died. Oh, I wasn't meant to win. I got some examples on the uh, top of my head there. You got Chrono Trigger. You got, like, Final Fantasy VI. There's a couple battles, you know, where you're fighting the Golem Twins or whatnot, or uh, you're trying to rescue Realm in that burning fire. And then, you know, Locke freaks out. You know, we're too late. The house burns, kind of, and it fades to black. Oh, wait a minute. It's okay. Yeah, the first time I played that, way, way back in the uh, 90s, I freaked out. I was like, there was no timer? How was I to know it was too late? Oh, psych out. Fuck you. So anyway, we got some... Oh, we got some battles going on here. I wasn't used to the attacks there, especially for that cat. Okay. Let's tighten things up here. Shake off the rust, especially you, Mr. Robot. There's a bat in my hair. I love saying that. Oh, and of course the cat's meow. That is a scary cat. Woof! Oh! <laughs> he ran. Huh? We're getting more creepy treats. Creepy treat cards. I'm sure there'll be mini quests. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, a lot of the battle music, a lot of the music in general seems to be the same. Same sound effects. A couple new things, though. There's definitely going to be new musical cues in the soundtracks. So this is, what, the hotel? I can't 
go in here, I guess. Oh, I'll be going in here. Looks like we have a save thing here. I won't be saving just right now. <laughs> Look at this guy. You know, I wonder if that water's cold or not. I assume it's gotta be cold here. It seems like it's cold, don't you think? It's all windy. It kinda looks like there's steam coming up from that. Maybe it's kinda like a hot springs. He is enjoying himself. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Did you see that fly across the screen? I guess that was a, a leaf or something. Trying to smack him. Weird pieces of goo. So there's a couple people walking around, standing around here. I think I'm going to advance on the houses here first. This guy's definitely an enemy. Oh. Think fast! Yep, new enemies. Haven't seen these guys before. So you definitely gotta think enemies. Why are they on the other side, you know? What is it about these guys that make them want to be on the bad side? Hmm. Oop. Ah, I miss rotating the analog. So we're both hard up, level 10 each. Those other ones were like level 14, right? And yet, I almost did beat him, didn't I? I was pretty close. I wonder if it's possible. I mean, with the way things were set up, you know, I'd probably be at level 10 regardless, they would be at their level. It's just a matter of math, you know? How strong your attacks can be. And they wanted to make sure. Or you know what, they probably just would have thrown more soldiers at us. Like a never-ending wave. Sometimes they do that. By the way, that's uh, Araxia's statue here. What a douche. Okay, let's fight this guy off. There's a fly on you. I got it. A fly? Ooh, look at these dudes. What do we got here? Cultist and a champion! He's a champion! He's scrapped! Damn, that really was pretty powerful. Oof. I think the cat costume's kind of working out. Seems fine. I'll be replacing these soon. As soon as I get these new costumes, I want to check that out. That'll be fun, right? You got to love new costumes in this game. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Creepy treats. Yeah, so I guess I consider it kind of like November-ish, maybe December. Definitely doesn't have a Christmas vibe. And I think that probably wouldn't have been appropriate, especially since, you know, we're in this, like, other dimension anyway. Whoop, whoop. Oh, wait, what am I doing? This guy's probably an ally. I want to revolt too, but I can't grow a beard. Ow! Why so much hostility? Man, these guys. They didn't used to be such wimps. Where'd that other one go? I saw him somewhere. I could have sworn I saw another one pacing around. <laughs> what the hell? I guess I was wrong. Another kid? Oh, could it be that one right there? Anyway, we got another kid here. I thought being candy would be cool. Until I walked a mile in its shoes, it sucks. Two out of six kids. I can't hit that. Yeah, so this guy. Let's fight him. Leave these monsters alone. Man, Reynold. Sticking up for the monsters. Right, we got three. Got a three set here. Look at those big old mallets. So what are these?
these things supposed to be? They kind of like skeleton skull heads, don't they? Or in action. It'll be interesting to see if there's any new enemies besides these. That'd be kind of neat. I'm sure there's a couple, one or two. Couple of reoccurring bosses, that kind of thing. I also wonder if we're gonna be seeing Dorsala anytime soon. She was kind of the boss in the last game, or at least one of the final bosses. Things didn't go her way, she had a big tantrum, and I don't know. She FO'd. So I'm wondering if we might see any of our allies. This barrage, a room. And as always, you know, the robot costume's probably the best. You know why? Because you can walk fast. Pretty much run. Cats me out. Why does that make him run away, by the way? Well, I'd run away too. That cat's pretty frightening. Hmm. What do you suppose this thing is? I don't know, but it looks like it would be fun to slide down. Hmm, yeah, so we need an object of some sorts to put over that so we can slide down it. Come on, let's go! Sorry, I can't let you through this gate. Mainly because I don't know how it works. How are we supposed to get to Araxia then? Talk to the Grub and Elder. He's old and wise and junk. He'll probably know how it opens. Hmm. Quest added, Grubbin' Lovin'? Okay, <laughs> what am I gonna have to do to complete this quest? I am starting to worry. Yeah, there's another one of these eyeball tree things. Oh man, I hit it. I hit it for some candy. A little goo over here. Might as well recruit some more. Viva Repugia! I would have joined if I didn't have flat feet. Here's a donation to absolve my guilt. Why do they give out candy anyway? Is that just the lifestyle here in Repugia? Viva Repugia! Our revolution was better than yours! Look, man, I mean, honestly, we don't give a crap. Just wanna get our friend. You know, while we're here, we'll get some candy. They're kids. They're not concerned with revolutions. That is not on the list of their priorities. Man, that priest is a pussy. There's a sentence I thought I would never say. <laughs> but I mean, look at his HP. Yep. What's he gonna do? You son of a bitch. I knew he was gonna do that. He's a priest. He's a healer. We'll take him out. Now what are you gonna do, priest? Here you go. Heal up again. Oh, he's attacking. Ouch! Meow. All right, good stuff. You know, if only I could start out with the cat, I could just scare him away and that'd be the end of it. Hey -oh! Attack my children! That's what he's doing. So, I wonder when I'm gonna have to give some of these creepy treat cards away. And I leveled up! Good stuff! How many houses have I done? Like three, four? Not a lot. Viva Repugia! No barrettes? You guys must be hurting for candy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I mean, they didn't want to change the whole I give you candy dynamic, but it just seems a little silly. Like, wh why would they give us candy here? It's not Halloween, it's just a little odd, but it's okay. No biggie. Viva Repugia! 
You want those geezers back in power? I'll bite your face! By the way, when Reynolds doing that, it kind of looks like he's trying to force a shit. Anyone ever notice that? It's like he's going, he's... Oh! Ooh. This might be the last house in this area. We needed like, what, 20? There'll probably be a couple other uh, small little areas. There also seem to be a couple of guards blocking some ramps who I have yet to talk to, as well as that elder dude. I kind of wanted to save him for uh, last, sort of. I figured he'd be important. You know, with the costume. I think he was holding the staff. He was like, hey, I'm the elder. I know what's going on here, I'll give you the download, the skinny, the information, the intel. Woof! Good lordy. this finishes him off. Yep. That's what happens when you're level 11. Okay. So, I am pretty damn sure... If, oh, I think he's catching some sleep there. He looks a little depressed. I talked to you, right? It's hard to get psyched on Yeti Fest when it's so hot here. So it's hot here? Hmm. I, I mean, I was wondering about that. It doesn't seem hot here. It doesn't seem hot here at all. In fact, I'm gonna disregard what he said. I don't... I don't count that at all as anything. Alright, so it's time to check out some of these ramps. I wonder how I get to that one. Let's cross back over this bridge. -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, the musical cues. It's a little different. I wish it played a little more often. Oh, I just noticed I have a shitload of candy and I'm actually almost uh, pretty full. I should probably buy some of those battle stamps. Hey, Shady, can I see what you've got again? Sure, but make it quick. Time is candy. Okay, big shot. And already he's got some more. God damn. All right, so yeah, these two. We got the uh, black rose. Increased defense. Cause damage to attackers. Eh. Who knows? Who knows what I prefer at this moment? I'll buy those two. These two didn't really uh, interest me anyway. And here's my battle stamps. Good stuff. My active quests? Oh, I've, I've only visited five out of the 20. Damn. That seems about right, though. Oh, and look at all those completed quests. Look at, uh, look at all those that popped up. Have I missed two? Have I not spoken to someone in particular yet? Two out of six kids. I can scroll down. Hook, line, and freethinker. Cranston gave me this cool pirate costume pattern. Now I just need to find the materials. Hmm. Talk to the monsters in the houses, get them to rebel, yada yada. Grubbin' Lovin'! How can we get the Grubbin' Elder to open the Trobog Gate? We really need to get through that Trobog Gate. Let's see if the Grubbin' Elder knows how to open it. Definitely have to go through there. Alright, here's my costume patterns. One out of four. Has a list of all the ones we achieved already. Ah, and here's a list of our creepy treats. Oh, and there's the old ones, I guess. Oh, my. Looks like we don't have too many to uh, to acquire in this downloadable content. All right, good stuff. Oh, and I think we have room for one more candy pail. Looks like there's a little bit of a space there. Hey, practice using your battle stamps on someone else. No, I don't want to see him anymore. Okay. So let's see, I want to find if there's a ramp over here. I'm going to talk to these guys guarding the ramps. See if I can get permission to use them. Obviously, they're... Oh, shit! Ah, they're standing there for a purpose. I don't think there's any point of coming over here again, but I kind of fell. God damn it. Ah, oh, man. Oh, okay. There's not much uh, use for this cave right now. 
I think it's for kind of coming back. There was that other little area on the right side. Okay, so once again, it is kind of silly how this... It poops us out up top there. Alright, so let's watch out. Let's not fall. I don't think there's any other way. There's no ramps over here. There's this. We need to get something to use it. The Elder's right there. It's important to talk to him, but let's not do that yet. I can't get over there. Oh, wait. There were, I think there was another ramp. Yeah, here we go. Cranston sent me. Did he send me new orders? Have I been stationed somewhere else, sir? Yes. Your new post is a few feet to the left. Sir, yes, sir! Good job, buddy. Okay. I don't know why they made me a private. I'm actually pretty sociable. Oh. <laughs> Please, sir. May I have another? Ooh, this guy's into some kinky shit. Oof. Costume material, maybe? It's an eye patch. Definitely for the pirate costume. But it looks like I haven't completed it yet. Hmm. What do you suppose this thing is? I don't know, but it looks like it would be fun to slide down. Hmm. Cranston sent me. Weird. Cranston sent me, too. Uh, do you have something for me? You mean like this ear scraper? That's a hook. Is that what you call it? Either way, I'm done with it. You can use it now. Oh, we got a plastic hook. And I bet that's what we can use to slide down these things right here. Only problem is I haven't completed the costume still. No pirate costume for me. Balls. Oh, wait a minute. Cranston sent me. Good. I'm sick of guarding this stupid ramp. Ah. I'll be honest. I joined the revolution to get the ladies. If you see any, please tell them about Fangus. Yeah, good luck with that. Ugh. So anyway, <laughs> what's going on over here? I didn't see this guy before. He's like the king. He's enjoying himself by the hot springs. Or maybe it really is hot here and that guy's just cooling down in the uh, cool springs. It just really seems like this is colder weather around here. I don't know. You know, it's the whole Halloween vibe and all. It's supposed to be cool outside. Found newspaper. Oh, and there we go. Our pirate costume is complete. Good stuff. I am satisfied. Arr! Arr! Hmm. So we know what we're probably going to use that hook for. Got a couple places to use it. Looks like there's nothing else over here. Oh! Ooh! Fell down this, kind of. Hmm. Just noticed my walking slow, because obviously I don't have the robot on. And I just noticed I missed this house. Viva Repugia! Finally, someone is doing something about Araxia. I'm happy to help. Oop. Alright, so good stuff. So let's see, where can we use that... Oh. Someone's at the buffet here. Buffet? Buffet? Oh, I hate walking slow. Okay. I gotta switch back to this stupid thing anyway. I need to... Uh, need to get over the ramps, so I gotta use the robot. Okay, okay, alright. There, oh, here we go. Arr. Okay. It would be fun to slide down. I'm trying, there we go. Do -do -do -do. Alright, so I did that, but I just don't see the real purpose. It's just a way to get from place to place. What I can't remember right now is where the hell was the other one? There was one more. 
Oh, it was down by the waterfall, yeah. Let's go see real fast if that has any use at all. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, was, I think I was standing on top of someone else's head. Let's take it slow here. I don't want to fall down there. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I thought I saw that over here. Okay. Pirate. Here we go. Where is this going to take us? To candy. Arr! We'll have to try the costume out in battle as well. More caves. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. It's a purple mushroom. Straight out of Mario Brothers 2. Ooh. Oh, my. Costume material. Wow, there is a lot, by the way. There's definitely got to be some costume material. All right, let's check him out. All right, we got some candy. 100 pieces. We got some more candy. 150 pieces. Oh, I'm predicting 200 pieces right here. Now, nah, give me some uh, costume material. Wire mesh. Wonder what that could go for. Hmm. I think that's all for now. So where is this leading us, by the way? Ah. Back to the start. Back to the start here. Evolution guy. Might as well buy the rest of the uh, battle stamps. Well, I guess I can only buy that one. Still. Only one to go for now. So I'm pretty sure I've done everything in the area. Everything. Except for talking to that elder dude. I didn't really know I could jump there until I tried it. I guess because of the little hill there. Okay. Oh, we can get to the other side. That's right. We haven't done that. Let's do it real fast. All right. Hook on. There we go. All right, that'll do. Okay, mind if I join the pool party, uh, your highness? He's not reacting. Is he dead? You know, I can't even talk to him. He's that much of a douche. He doesn't even respond to me. Look at this guy. Okay. Does that guy have those little inflatable things around his arms? <laughs> can't talk to that guy either. Oh, look. I'm in here. That's kind of neat. We're having a good time here. All right, man. It's like Mountain Dew. Buffet? You should come with me. I just talked to an old friend that would love to see you. Not unless you have a good side dish to go with this meat fruit. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I don't really know what's going on with that. We'll have to figure out and see. Hmm. wonder how I get up there. I'm sure we'll find out. Okay, come on. What's that? Candy, get it. Get the... Oh. It's a hole. I see it's going to bring us down over here again. So once again, it looks like there's nothing else to do but talk to the old guy who definitely seems depressed. But you know what I'm going to do, guys? I think I'm going to call it a wrap right here. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay, and stay tuned for the next part of Costume Quest, Grubbins on Ice. I will see you guys next time. I am out.